Hello, I'm Bernadette Brady and here we are at week six of the research methodologies module for the cultural astronomy and astrology at Trinity St David's University of Wales. So this week we're still looking at phenomenology, it is a big subject, but this time we're focusing into grounded theory. Grounded theory is a qualitative research methodology um, developed by a glazer as, as one of the developers and um, it's probably the most practical application or putting phenomenology into some form of structure or shape which by definition it struggles to be contained in. It's a very interesting methodology where you sort of sit with the data instead of as an ethnography you sit with your informants and visit them often. With grounded theory your informants are is your data and, and you live with that and you even dream with that. So it's a very interesting process. Um, you may use grounded theory in uh, working in whatever you do for your master's dissertation, for example. You won't have time to do grounded theory in the research project you're doing now for this module because grounded theory requires you collect data from all different places, you make notes, you have sticky notes, you put them together in different ways. and and you have to keep doing that until the data reaches what's called saturation. And saturation is where any new data coming in is not adding anything. And they even suggest, um, um, Glazier even suggests dreaming about it um, to actually get it to that point. So it takes time to do grounded theory. It's not a fast track thing you can do in a couple of weeks. So that's the essence of grounded theory. And we'll be looking at this. There's some voice lectures and PowerPoints uh, that I have done on this. You've got course notes on grounded theories. You've got readings on grounded theories. These are constantly changing. And you've also got a paper in here on Durham Burn and the paranormal and prejudice, which is not really grounded theory, but it's another paper that looks at belief in astrology and its issues. So there's different things to look at there. There's a PowerPoint I've put up a while ago on grounded theory, giving you the essence of it. There's a paper by Glazier uh, on the web, Introduction to Grounded Theory. Really good. I mean, it's from the horse's mouth. And then there's criticisms. Um, there's Brogetti is, uh, also gives you a good overview of grounded theory. And then Thomas and James, more recently in the last few years, reinventing grounded theory, really a, a criticism of grounded theory because... They're asking what's really coming out of it. But in essence, grounded theory is very simple. It's letting the data create theory. In other words, the theory is coming from the ground up rather than you having a theory and you taking it out into the field and seeing if you can test it or find anything out about it. So that's the essence of grounded theory, which will be predominantly focused on in week six. So, yeah, um, I'll see you in, in week six.